Hi, Gamer Glow here. Uh, we're going to show you a little film I shot today, and uh, what's today, February 1st. And uh, we took a little hike today, a little hike, a little further hike than I really thought I wanted to take. But um, we discovered um, some unused railroad tracks just the other side of uh, Robert E. Lee Park, on the other side of the Baltimore Light Rail. You start walking along, and all of a sudden, you come across these. Um, abandoned railroad tracks from the old B&S Railroad. So uh, here goes some of the clips and I'll stop back in in between some of these clips and give you some better explanations. Hi, we're Gamer Glow. We're in the outskirts of Robert E. Lee Park in Baltimore County and you should be seeing a train go by over there across that bridge. That's where the current light rail runs. But we're going to pan over here a little bit and go down here and I can't see the screen so I'm not sure whether you all can see this but this is where the original railroad ran along this path and uh, there's the original uh, ties, railroad ties and rail uh, I'll continue on down the path and continue this a bit later Okay, in that clip you saw the light rail, Baltimore light rail, going across the bridge on the other side of the lake. Now, the original railroad did go up that way, up towards uh, Hunt Valley, and up to, beyond, up to the uh, Susquehanna in Pennsylvania, Baltimore Susquehanna Railroad. The section that I'm walking on, I want the rest of this clip, is from a section of line that went from... Uh, basically where Robert E. Lee Park is it kind of branched off and went up towards Owings Mills where it uh, provided passenger service uh, we'll continue on with the rest of the clips here we go, here's another view of these old tracks you see trees growing up in the middle, in between the tracks <coughs> which obviously haven't been used for a long time we'll, we'll head on down See, and see what else we get to see along this abandoned uh, part of the B&S Railroad, the Baltimore and Susquehanna Railroad, that was established in 1828. Okay, continuing on down the track, this was a long walk, and some sometimes the shots between uh, videos was uh, quite a bit because it was quite a distance. I think I must have hiked at least five miles along this path. Until we finally came out to the end. Uh, so here's this section of the railroad. All right, we're down here now. We're facing the opposite direction as as we were coming. Now the the tracks seem to end right there. Let me see. Let's zoom up. You can see the end of the track, and there doesn't seem to be any track after that. But we'll continue on down and see if we see any more of the old track. Okay, so we walked along down that path. Uh, we saw that uh, the tracks, the actual metal part of the tracks ended, the, the, the rails. They, uh, after that point, they removed all the rails. Uh, I guess they left those old rails there for, for, for posterity. So we move on down, down the track and you'll see um, more of the track and um, some of the ties that are still there. Alright, we're a long ways past where that railroad, where the, where the actual rails ended, but right there you can see an old railroad tied, an old railroad tie that has got moss and stuff on it, but the train did come down this way, and we're going to continue down this path and see where we end up. Okay, down along this part of the path, you'll see a lot of railroad ties going down here. Apparently this is, we're actually walking in the bed of the railroad tracks that used to be here. And the ties, they, they, pulled, the, they pulled the original rails up, but the ties are still down here and rotting away. So we'll, uh, we'll walk along here. Remember, this is part of the old B&S Baltimore and Susquehanna Railroad, which was built in uh, 
1828, and uh, we'll be back after we get down the ways a piece. Okay, so we moved on down the track, and as you'll see, we're, we'll come up upon a, a, an old railroad trestle that uh, has been converted to a footbridge, and uh, and uh, we ran it after we got off that and went down the trail a little more ways. I, I actually ran into somebody I knew, <laughs> and uh, because I had traveled so far that I didn't know how I was going to get back home, and luckily my friend was um, walking along the trail with a metal detector and uh, we I trucked back back to the bridge which was a little healthy trek and then back out to, to uh, Falls Road uh, and, and uh, got a ride back home thank goodness so uh, enjoy the rest of this and I'll see you at the end of the at the end of the clip hi we've gotten down here and uh, we're on a bridge, which is a footbridge, but as you can t see, it originally was a railroad crossing over this river here, or creek, and they built a little footbridge here over it for people to uh, travel across it by foot. Not too bad, huh? Alright gang, we're with some friends and they're scanning with a metal detector along this railroad thing. Whoa. That's big. Look, the whole Whoa. thing coming up. More scrap metal. Holy wow. Looks like a piece of a train. And they've already picked up about 10 or so or more uh, spikes. So, I don't know what the hell that is. It's kind of heavy too. There's a spike there. Railroad spike, railroad spike. So obviously this was a railroad through here. Alright, Gamer Glow, we're, we're still hiking along. Well, that was my little hike for the day today. Uh, it was a little over five miles. Uh, got pretty tired, but uh, it was good exercise. And uh, as you can see, that my friend actually found some stuff with his metal detector, and uh, a lot of he found a lot of uh, railroad old railroad ties buried beneath there. I mean, not ra railroad ties, uh, the spikes. So um, hopefully, you enjoyed this little trail along. Uh, the old B&S Railroad section that went from uh, basically um, Mount Washington up through to uh, Owings Mills, Maryland. And uh, hope you have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the ride. Gamer Glow on the Air TV.